Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, uh, between the last episode and this one, I ended up making a mistake and wiping out my progress for the last episode. I tried to recreate everything exactly as possible, which actually, I mean, I got really lucky the first time around with how few supplies I used. Even, even recreating it with save states was pretty tricky because it was hard to get that amount of luck again, which is actually kind of hilarious when you think about it. That I'm having trouble even recreating it with save states, but... Because I didn't use a, even a Phoenix Down, and except for the mandatory one that I used on Edgar in the Tentacles fight. I only used one Tincture, and didn't use a ton of potions. I used an average amount of potions. It it wasn't huge, but Okay. Just died already. But hopefully I uh was that when I was supposed to enter the town going left? One second, I'm just gonna leave for a second so I don't forget to check later. Okay. Maybe I'm imagining things. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a moment's delay after I actually enter the town, so I'm on the right square. It's kind of important when I go out of the town that I need to be on the right square, so... That's why I actually bothered to take a look at that little detail. So, basically in this episode, I'm just doing the stuff between the Cave of South Figaro and Daryl's Tomb. It's not a whole lot of stuff to actually do, but it doesn't fit thematically with either of the other segments, so it's going to be its own thing. Hopefully that worked out okay. There we go. I'm going to go rest the inn because someone died, and this is both easier and cheaper than using items to heal this, so why not, right? Now I just do the menu trick. This is just bit of house cleaning almost in the middle of it. One, two. Bunch of random crud I have to get out of the way. But it's super easy. This town is not... I don't have to go through much of this town so it's not a pain in the butt at all. And I made it sense are okay. And the rest of the walking is just a tad of overworld travel, not much. So, got a chat with Setzer out here. See when, when the airship's. where the airship is. Such a surprise, it's in Daryl's tomb. The only other place on this continent. Wow, that is just such a stroke of convenient luck, isn't it, for our protagonists? Good thing it wasn't tomorrow on this continent, or uh, Kefka wouldn't be stopped at all, really. Just some yeti sitting in the town. I hope this doesn't become one of those segments where I shoot myself in the foot by not practicing it enough, but hopefully it should be pretty straightforward. Alright, so skills, equip, sensors at the bottom. Oh wait, but I don't want to do that, because I want to hit optimize. Equip, sensor, optimize. Nice to have that option. So now I just hold right for a bit. The Snarsh Guard here might get in my way, but... That's about the extent of the worst that can happen here now. <laughs> Other than me forgetting my route, because I never bothered enough to check it out, but... This segment's short, shouldn't be too much of an issue, I hope. Yep, there we go. Now I know where I am here because I double checked. So, all the way down. So, this will bring me to uh, some random patch of land. That's amazing, right? One, two, three. Well, I'm halfway through a step. Halfway through the fourth step in particular. It's not a big deal because the battle's short, and I don't have to focus on anything else. It's so when I have to focus on stuff in between that I start to forget these things. 
four, five. Now I just walk all the way left. And I'm going somewhere, that's a really good sign because if I wasn't going anywhere then I'd probably have hit the water. Well, uh, good for you. You managed to kill yourself against somebody who isn't even attacking you. That's uh, pretty darn impressive, I must say. I, I think these uh, creatures are the pinnacle of evolution. The absolute pinnacle of it. Actually, I think uh, they just proved Darwin wrong for this universe. For the Final Fantasy VI universe. <laughs> There's no way anything could have evolved that does that. So I guess creationists should go live in the FF6 universe, because there they might actually be right about things. Right, and now I enter the dungeon. After these messages. Go away, battle. Pretty sure it doesn't matter whether I get... whether I'm going up or going left, right. Oh, well, someone died. Goodbye, someone. Alright, so let's just get rid of this cutscene. Why not, right? It's right at the end of the segment, it's not hard to get rid of. And it might save me a couple seconds later, if I have to restart. So, why not? It's not super helpful, but nor is it going to hurt. I can just focus on the next segment. Uh, skills, item, equip. I mean, save, but... Seven minutes. Barely long enough for me to consume the segment, but that's okay. Whatever.